Hello, everybody. Merry, merry word made flesh. Today we are celebrating the feast of the theology of the body, the word made flesh, the incarnation. It is Christmas Day. Just sending you some Christmas wishes in my Christmas sweater. We've been having a lovely, lovely day of celebration here at the West family home. Our two oldest are home from college. We have the whole five children with us. The whole West family crew is here. From our family to your family, the most sincere, heartfelt Christmas wishes. I just wanted to share a few reflections I've been having today on this glorious, glorious feast. This is the reading, the gospel that the church gives us today on this glorious feast of Christmas. In the beginning was the word. Okay, pause, pause, pause. The word, the word. We've heard this so many times. What is the word? The Greek is logos. It means the logic behind everything, the meaning behind everything, the purpose behind everything. In the beginning was this meaning. This meaning was with God and it was God. And he was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through this word, through this meaning, through this logic. What came to be through him was life. Pause. The thing that comes to be through the word is life. Life. The Son is the eternal begotten life of the Father. The Son reveals the mystery of God's fatherhood. What is, what is it to say that, that God is Father other than He is life givingness, right? This is the theology of our bodies. Our bodies, male and female, reveal the life givingness of God. They reveal the human body. This is the destiny of the human body is to reveal the mystery of Christ. This is what Christmas is all about. How the human body reveals the logos, the mystery, the meaning, the logic behind everything. If, if the logos became flesh, if meaning became flesh, then contrary to what the message of the world is, our bodies are not meaningless. Our bodies reveal ultimate meaning. Think of the darkness that is just over the world today. We can't see in the darkness. We can't see the meaning of our bodies. But listen to this. This Listen to this. Listen. What came to be through the Logos was life. And this life was the light. And the darkness has not overcome it. This is the light which enlightens everyone. What is the light? The light is that life-givingness. The light is the fact that our bodies reveal ultimate meaning because ultimate meaning is God's life-givingness, God's love that is life-giving. God's love that is life-giving. That's the ultimate meaning of everything. And that love that is life-giving is revealed today through the body of Mary that gives birth to the Logos in the flesh. So check this out. All you Magnificat readers out there, have you been pondering this day after day in the month of December as I have been? Check out the mystery revealed by this mystic artist. What are the colors of birth, if not red and white, right? The flow of blood and water. Look at what's happening here. There's the red, there's the white flowing from within this mystery. This is the mystery of Mary's open womb giving forth the Word made flesh. Look at how the white is flowing from within the red. This is a very mystical image of Mary's open womb giving forth the Word made flesh. This is the glory of Christmas. This is the glory of our own bodies. Our own bodies are meant to reveal the mystery of Christmas. How so? The mystery of Christmas is the revelation in the flesh of the life-giving love of God the Father in the Son, born of Mary. What does this mean for us? It means we are destined to be regenerated into eternal life. And this is exactly where the gospel goes. Listen to this, listen to this. 
But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. Born not by natural generation, nor by a a human choice or by man's decision, but born of God. Born of God. You see, human generation, the mystery revealed in our bodies as male and female, is but a sign, a little glimmer of generation in a divine sense, a divine generation. Christ comes into the world through a divine generation. Remember the Gospel of Matthew that was also part of the Christmas readings, depending on which Mass you went to? So-and-so begat so-and-so begat so-and-so begat so-and-so begat so-and-so until we read, this is how the birth of Jesus came about. So all those so-and-so begat so-and-so, that's just a commentary on natural generation. So-and-so had sex with so-and-so, and and generated so-and-so. But then something new happens. Grace does not conquer nature. Grace does not erase nature. Grace builds on nature. Here we have a, a divinely generated child that fulfills the meaning of natural generation. Grace builds on nature. Do you know where we even get the word nature? The word nature shares the same root as nativity. Right? Today we celebrate the nativity. What is the nativity? Look it up. The Latin is nativitus or nativitas or something like that. And it means origin, birth, right? What it, nature is, is that which comes forth through birth, through, through the natural birth, nativity, nature, right? What we're celebrating today is the wedding, the marriage, the touch point, the, the union of grace and nature of heaven and earth, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. That's what we're celebrating. And here it is, here it is. Heaven, Jesus, and nature, Mary. The two are wed today and come forth in this Christmas mystery. Oh, glory, oh, glory. What happens then? The body, the natural mystery of the body becomes a revelation of the mystery of of God, theology of the body. John says it right here in the gospel. No one has ever seen God, but the Son, the Son of God, who came in the flesh, has revealed Him. Our flesh reveals the glory of God. The natural reality of generation is a sign of another kind of generation. And this is the prayer after communion today for Christmas. Listen to this. The Savior of the world is the author of a divine generation. Glory, 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 glory be to God. I have one more little gem I want to share with you, and then I will bid you adieu on this beautiful Christmas celebration. Listen to this. Let me find it. This is uh, something that came in the Advent readings this year. Listen to this. This is from Zechariah 2.17. Silence all mankind. Now, this is the silence not of, you be quiet. This is the silence of absolute stunned awe. This is the silence of silent night, holy night. Listen to this. Silence all mankind in the presence of the Lord, for he stirs forth from his holy dwelling. What is the holy dwelling from which he stirs forth? What is the holy dwelling from which he stirs forth? Mary, Mary is the holy dwelling from which the Lord stirs forth. This is the mystery we are celebrating. Silence in the presence of the Lord, for he stirs forth from his holy dwelling. Mary, thank you for your yes. Show us how to give that yes. Show us how to give that open, wide, surrendered yes to the life-giving power of God. Merry, merry, merry Christmas to each and every one of you. May you and your families know the depth of the mystery revealed through these Christmas nuptials. Let me give you a few shout-outs here to people who are watching. Uh, Merry Christmas from Edmund. Uh, Charles Glaviano Jr., bless you. Merry Christmas, Charles. Philip Kilby, God bless you, Philip. 
Let me see if I can scroll to the other ones. Uh, Phil Morgan, Merry Christmas, Christopher. Come see us in Colorado. Love your Phil these hearts at the Pikes Peak Center. Do another tour, please. I believe, Phil, that I am coming to Colorado, uh, the Denver, Colorado Springs area in October of 2018 with a new event called Made for More. So keep posted. I hope you're on our mailing list and you'll get uh, certainly notified about when we're coming. If you're not, go to the website and sign up. Uh, who else said hello here? I'm trying to scroll. Philip Kilby, Terry Lynn. Hello, Terry Lynn. Merry Christmas to you. Mario Frank Ezra. Hello. Merry Christmas. Chris Christian Roman. Merry Christmas. Eve Tisha. Merry Christmas to one and to all. I love you guys. Thanks for being such a great support to me in this mission of spreading theology of the body. It's amazing how Christmas comes alive when we put on our theology of the body glasses, isn't it? Uh, Charles, you are saying, my wife and I attended your marriage prep almost 20 years ago in Denver. Wow, you were there in the early days, Charles. Uh, it's great to hear you're still together. That is awesome. Uh, we have a brand new marriage prep program coming out very soon through Ascension Press that we filmed last August. It's still in production, but it's coming out. We've come a long way. Wow, how I, I used to present this message 20 years ago and, and how it's coming out today because I myself have grown in my understanding. My brothers and sisters, I'm going to get back to my family celebrations today, but I did want to pop on and just say hello and Merry Christmas to everybody. Fabricio, Merry Christmas from Brazil. Bless you, bless you. I got to go. I love you. I love you. Peace and blessings, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Take care and share this video. You know somebody out there needs to hear this message about the true and glorious meaning of Christmas today. Share this video with somebody you know needs to hear it. God bless you guys. Bye.